All right, so uh, here's a little video showing the uh, parts for the uh, 1000 amp laminated bus controller. And uh, here's four sets of the uh, copper plates. <coughs> and then uh, this fifth one down here, this is what I've already started building up. I'll show you that one in a second. So there's, uh, there's two plates to each one. There's uh, the top plate, which is the positive plate. And then the bottom plate, which is the negative plate. And um, they get sandwiched together. And a, uh, a piece of mylar film between them. And then, uh, so obviously the uh, holes there line up with the film capacitor. And then uh, you can see where they line up on these as well. They just go together like that. So, four controllers here. These ones have already been bought. These are kind of... Uh, so the beta testers, but uh, it's a pretty simple design. There's really not much testing to be done. So uh, I'll just uh, slip these out of the way for a minute. They are they're quite heavy. Yeah, uh, I got a little scale around here somewhere. Let's see, uh, and uh, my kitchen's kind of a mess. And uh, so ignore that. Got the little scale, and uh, I'll turn this on. All right, and all right, pounds and ounces. So if I sit this on here like this, to play with it a little bit. So that says, get the light on. Two pounds seven and a quarter ounces per set of plates. That's a, that's a lot of copper. That is solid 110 copper. Um, it's 32 thousandths of an inch thick, which is a 20 gauge, I believe. Um, so there's, a, there's some good copper there. And then I see the little trim rings. The uh, water drip machine does a good job at uh, slicing it out. Not much, uh, not much waste. So, uh, here's my controller, already working on building this one up, and uh, it's got an IGBT there, that's just one of them, but there'll be two more, and then underneath there, there's the film capacitor, and you can see, they sit nice and flat there, and uh, yeah, it uh, lines up pretty darn good, so I'm going to unscrew these. This will take the top plate off, the positive plate. Um, I gotta put the, the Mylar insulator in, which I cut this on a, uh, a CAD cut vinyl cutter. So that, it's kind of hard to see in the video because it's so clear. A little sharpie line there from where I had to divide the big sheet. But you can see the holes in it there. And that'll go in between them, like that. See how it slips right over some of them, lines it up nice. And then there's room, right like that, where the copper washers will go on the other side layer for uh, for spacing to stand the upper plate off of the oh, positive plate off of the negative plate. So. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice and tight fit. I have some trouble getting it off of here. Come on, it's getting stuck on the uh, on the lock washers. All right, let's uh, put the phone down for a second. Let's get the stand up. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. So there's eight five millimeter screws, ten millimeters long, um, for each side of the film capacitor, sixteen in total. Um, 
and the negative plate can actually be um, bolted directly to the fins on the, uh, oh, forgot the IGBT screw here, um, directly to the, the terminals on the uh, capacitor. So there that is. You can see it there. How they uh, how they fit in those holes for isolation. Um, a good amount of space on all of them. And obviously they should be centered. That's how I designed it. Uh, and then down here you can see the uh, the copper washer on the IGBT and how that uh, is isolated. It gives the spacing. For the upper plate to contact that terminal. Um, now, so you take the mylar insulator sheet, and it'll only fit one way because the offset holes for the IGBTs. So that slips down over there like that, and it's on there now. And then I have new copper washers coming for these terminals that are uh, a smaller diameter because um, I didn't like the fit of the um, the ones that uh, those ones there I got something coming that's a little bit better fit um, so this is just my little bag of extras so but those will go something like that just put a few in here for now. So they actually fit inside the mylar decently well enough to line it up while you uh, put the next layer on. And what I'm doing is I have little baggies of hardware. So this bag has all of the capacitor mounting hardware. And I will be putting the spacers for the capacitors in those. And then in here somewhere is a bag of IGBT hardware. And once the new bolts come for the IGBTs, those will uh, get put in those bags because the IGBTs use six mil screws and the, um, the cap uses fives. So that's uh, little bags of hardware. So now. Once that's on there like that, um, you can see this should, I haven't even tried this yet, this should just slip down over there like that, and uh, da -da -da, yeah, so the insulator will slip down over that washer and uh, line it up. So let me put the phone down again, it's kind of hard to see, I know, uh, so the plate, We'll just slip over the top like that. We'll insert one of the uh, screws at the back here to get it lined up. So you might have to just wiggle it around a little bit, but it will line up quite well. Um, there's two. Put the four in the in the washers that I tried. Three and four. Just snug them down by hand. Now this little insulator one. Yep. Once you get the plate in there, it actually lines up pretty darn good. copper washer slips right through it. Uh, you're just going to want to check and make sure that it does do it right because if not, it could end up being a problem. This uh, this is the first insulator I had cut, so I might need to make a little few little changes. But So this will slip in there. i got to shift the washer over. But, uh, I can't get my finger in there to switch, shift it over a little bit. Let's see if I can get with this screwdriver. There we go. 
Yeah, so I'm going to need to shift the insulator a little bit so that it's uh, a little bit more leeway. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much how it goes. And then you just snug them all up. There's a little bit of overhang around all the edges. To, uh, just to provide, you can see it here, the overhang, just to provide isolation on the edges of it so it can't jump like from plate to plate by being the same thing. Um, yeah, so that's this little extra piece here can either be folded up like this and isolate your bus bars um, so you can just run a little bit fatter bus bars. That's kind of what my plan was, just stand it up. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, went together pretty smoothly for, uh, the first prototype. I'm pretty happy with it. A couple changes on the insulator. And, uh, should be good to go. There's, uh, no reason why I can't te do some testing with this one. I plan to this weekend. I'll, uh, get back to you with, uh, some updates. Thanks.